So far, we kept the discussion theoretical, and now we move to discuss actual algorithms for solving P0. Those algorithms are commonly referred to as pursuit algorithms. We start by defining our objective and describing the directions we have in front of us. This is probably the 1,000 times we see the definition of P0. This is the problem we have defined as our objective, seeking the sparsest solution of a linear system. Our dream is to solve it somehow and do this in reasonable time. We already described an exhaustive method that could solve P0 in practice. Let's recall how this method works. We denote by k the number of non-zeros in the solution. Clearly, we do not know k. So we will sweep through its possible values. Starting with k equals 1, we should check all the possible options of supports of cardinality k and per each test whether a solution can be created. For a general value k, there are m choose k such tests to perform. The test shown here solves a least squares problem over the chosen support. And if the error is zero or just small enough, we decide that a solution has been found. If none of these tests is successful, we increase k by one and repeat the process. Assuming that A has 2,000 columns and k is known to be 15, if each of these tests would require one nanosecond to complete, we will need millions and millions of years to conclude this pursuit. We are looking at a tough problem of combinatorial nature. And in fact, it is known to be NP-hard. So what do we do? Well, one thing is clear. We should not use this exhaustive method. And the question is, what are our alternatives? The answer is approximation algorithms. That means that we will be willing to compromise and get a suboptimal solution of P0 in return for a practical process. So how should we design these algorithms? An appealing approach leads us to the greedy family of algorithms. The idea is quite simple and relies on the understanding that the true essence of solving P0 is discrete in nature, that is, the identification of the proper support of the solution. Indeed, the exhaustive method we have described sweeps through the entire tree of possibilities of this support, checking each and every option. As we go to approximation methods, we should prune this tree of possibilities and skip many possible tests, hopefully those who are less likely to hit the true solution. This leads us to various strategies that belong to the wide family of greedy methods. There is an alternative to the greedy approach, in which we focus on the unknown x, disregarding the discrete nature of its support. P0 can be regarded as yet another continuous optimization problem, among many that we have seen in the past. In the last 50 years, we have gained a lot of know-how in methods for handling such tasks. So why not use this knowledge in solving P0? Well, P0 does pose a serious challenge since the L0 norm is highly non-smooth. So the obvious strategy would be to smooth it somehow and then plug in a classic optimization algorithm. This brings us to the relaxation family of algorithms. So to summarize, when aiming to approximate the solution of P0, we have two very different strategies. The greedy methods that emphasize the discrete nature of the problem and build the support, and the relaxation method that smooth P0 to become a pleasant to handle continuous optimization task. We shall now dive into these two branches in more details and we'll start with the greedy path.